<laughs> so far in the bottom I have a bunch of sticks just random sticks and leaves that are broke up and I just laid right there just a small amount of the Pete's cow manure and then I'm going to put some Pete's lawn and garden soil in here to finish filling it up and a little bit of bone meal too all right, this is my kitty pool after the dirt is filled up. It has the sticks in the bottom, and I sprinkled some uh, manure, cow manure, and then a little bit of bone meal, and then the Pete's lawn and garden soil on top. And the Pete's cow manure, I only used probably enough to fill half of that mop bucket up right there. Maybe not even that much, but it sprinkled across the bottom pretty good. And then it took one bag of this to fill up. This is the toddler size kiddie pool, by the way. It took one of these bags to fill it up. But that was with me having the sticks and stuff broke up in the bottom. And I already had the holes drilled also. Now let's see what we're going to put in here. Probably going to put my borage in here or something. I don't know yet. This is what happens when you plant your stuff and you don't pay attention to the time. I thought it was later in the evening and I'm out here transplanting in the middle of the day. So we don't even know what if this is going to come up. Just messed it all up. Well, here's my latest little planter idea. Yeah, can you tell I'm getting desperate for dirt? <laughs> I've had this pool sitting here waiting to do this. I thought it was going to take more dirt to fill it up, so I was kind of hesitant. But that's going to see how this works out. I'll keep you updated. Now I have a T post on both sides. I just connected the wire to one side and wrapped it to the this side connected it and then wrapped it here this part right here comes loose so I can get in there if I need to and those rocks are just a bunch of rocks that I had in the bottom of some pots and some stuff that I found in the dirt when we was digging the garden back there last year and all that good stuff hey chickadees rocks that I have in here. Can't really see it that great. But they're white quartz and pink quartz in there. Maybe I'll get some moon charge energy coming to this bed. We'll see. Curious if they'll bloom after the full moon. We'll see. Does that make me a weirdo? Because you know, things can absorb energy. And my plants did come back. That one didn't. He still looks a little sickly, but he might come back. Others, the others pop back up. I'll come out here and talk to them. Watered them really good, which I probably should. A few of those look a little iffy, but I think they're all going to make it. That might be too much for that area. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. finally fixed the fence on this side so I don't have that ugly those things blocking <laughs> to keep the chickens out 
and I kind of did the same thing. I just attached it to, well, this bar that I had here doesn't have the things to attach it, so I got a zip tie it to it, but it doesn't matter. It's just holding it in place because it's attached to this one. And then I left me a little gay area to come in. And I just took an old, I think that's a mop handle maybe, <laughs> and stuck it through the fence just so I'd have a way to open my gate and get in and shut it back. Got a little hole right there to dig it down in and you just kind of push it behind there. That keeps the chickens out. That's the main thing I'm worried about. It's my strawberry patch. It is going bonkers right now. So I gotta get in here and clean all these runners out to see how going everywhere. They're trying to spill out the sides. And looky here. This looks like a cucumber growing in my strawberries. I don't even know how that got in there. But I'm going to have to do something about that. At least stand him up. Oh, gosh. What a mess. But yeah. Not getting any more strawberries right now so I need to come in here and clear some of this out I can't even get no sunshine down at the base of them because they're so thick yeah I'm gonna have a lot of strawberry plants to put somewhere else I think I'm gonna have to Oh, God, get more dirt. I need more dirt. Gonna have to make me a few big tubs of nothing but strawberries. Or go get me another kiddie pool. Yeah. Maybe that. <laughs> we'll see. This is my strawberry patch that I've just cut a bunch of runners yesterday and brought them over here. Put them in this half barrel. Now this, I need a way bigger barrel. <laughs> There's this. I'm gonna take you over here and show you my strawberries. Show you the difference. This is how my gardens come in. That one's slower going because it's just in the uh, red dirt. I did put some good soil and some good nutrients in there in each row before I planted. But there's my purple hyacinth, beans, and look over here. my purple royalty oh there's my flip flops see that little patch of clear right there. <laughs> this is the only spot that I cut all of those runners from. And all of that needs to be cleaned up. And I, I really don't want to I don't want to cut them and then throw them away. So I need to figure out something to do with them, either to try to sell them, or heck, I might just throw them out there by the wood line and see if they'll just grow. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. But I gotta get in here and put that cucumber plant on a stick, get it running somewhere, 
And I think there's another little one in there too hiding. Yeah, that right there. See that, that's the cucumber. And what is that? That is not that. That one. And there's something else too. I'm hoping that's a sunflower. Kind of looks like a sunflower. I'm not sure. But man, look at all these runners. It's going crazy in there. Do you see all them?